Hey Legionnaires and welcome to Comic Breakdown. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button and hit that notification bell so you're not missing any of the content we have coming out. Now if you're wondering why I said Legionnaires in the beginning, it's because someone asked me what I call my fans, what I call some of my subscribers, and so I thought I would try something new out. And for all my fans, you guys are my Legion of Breakdown. Collectively making a Legion, individually, each of you Legionnaires of your own. Kind of a play on Legion of Superheroes. I don't know, I think it's kind of fun. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And without wasting any more time, we're going to be jumping into King and in Black issue number four. And you guys, this comic is freaking amazing. The main King and Black line has really been killing it. I mean, all the tie-ins are pretty cool too in themselves, don't get me wrong. But the main line... Oh my god, they have been dumping everything into it. And I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised with what's coming up in this issue. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with the King in Black line, go ahead and check out the link in my description and at the top of this video. It'll get you completely caught up on everything King in Black related. We haven't missed a single issue, so go ahead and check it out. Now, we will be covering the rest of the King in Black that did come out today. We will have those out to you later on this evening. I have to run up to my comic shop in the morning and pick up some things. So I'm only getting this one out to you and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue. So be sure to check that out as well. And with that being said, let's dive into this issue. Alright everyone, so diving into issue number 3. We have Dylan inside the hive. And Noel is calling to him. Telling him that it's time. And he lets Dylan know that he's not here to hurt him. And lets him know that he's special. He's something new. They made him to destroy him. They made Dylan to destroy Noel. And this is when Dylan hears another voice inside of his head. And he asks who it is, but they say that it's only a friend. And they don't know how much longer they can hold a connection, but they need to listen. Dylan needs to listen. Noel made a mistake bringing Dylan into there. He can use his powers to break into the hive. He can tap into his powers with Dylan's powers. He can use Noel as an antenna to control the hive. But before whoever this is can finish the sentence, Dylan says shut up. He screams it. And Noel reaches out his hand and tells him to join him. And Dylan grabs his hand and simply says, I got this. Telling Noel that you killed my father. And Dylan uses his powers. And Noel tries to escape but is screaming. And as Dylan holds on to him, reaching through him, he is freeing many of our heroes from the grasp of the symbiote hive. And this is when Thor gets an idea that he's going to need some lightning and a little bit of magic. And Felicia hands Doctor Strange his staff. And she asks what's going on. And he says there appears to be a rather intense plan forming. And he says, I for one am tired of sitting on the sidelines. Noel believes himself to be a god. Two can play at that game. And we see Doctor Strange turn into his strongest form. And this is when everybody's mind is linked. And everybody uses their powers in one go. Sending a giant blast to the center of the city. And this is when Namor does his part. And causes a flood that takes over most of the city. And then Storm and Thor bring the lightning. Electrifying all of the water. And then we see Noel and Dylan. Dylan weakened from taking on Noel, and Noel still very much powerful, only having a little bit of damage done to the hive. And then this is when someone invades the head of Noel. And then we see the arrival of Jean Grey. And this is where she taps into his mind to see what makes him bleed. But at first, it scares her because his mind is cold. She can't find anything, anything that can hurt him. He he was forged in the darkness, bent it to his will. He has beaten everything. There's nothing that they can do, or at least so it seems, but this is when she sees something else. There's another, a reaction, an opposite. Noel, he's the god of the abyss, but he is not the darkness. The darkness existed long before him, and with darkness, there is always light. It rose up against him. It bonded itself with warriors to rage against him. The light, it was sentient. 
alive. It gave the army unimaginable powers, but it wasn't enough. In the light, it was young, overwhelmed by darkness, stretching itself too thin. And so it became something new. It would choose a single being in all of the universe to bond with, to make them better, make them power powerful enough to stand against the dark. A god of light. Now we have been speculating on who this god of light is, and I am so freaking excited to tell you guys, but we're going to wait to get to the end. And this is when Jean Grey says that the opposite, the God of Light, is actually a symbiote. It's his opposite. And then she passes out, only to mother the, mutter the words, it's here. The God of Light is here and it's trying to get in. It's trapped. I can hear it screaming. And this is when Silver Surfer makes his arrival. And he blasts through the symbiote dome. Zooming in as quickly as possible. Blasting through symbiote dragons. And Silver Surfer stops. And looks at this ball of light. And he says, oh I see. You're not here for me. Then go and find your warrior. And it appears in front of Reed Richards. And Reed even says it behaves like a symbiote. It always has. The God of Light. And then it clicks. He knows what this is. We all know what this is. We've just been calling it by the wrong name. Because this is none other than Captain Universe. Finally, the Enigma Force is solved. And this is when Captain Universe bonds himself to Eddie Brock. Because Eddie Brock has been chosen to be the God of Light. And that will be the end of this issue Ooh. so let me know what you guys think i personally absolutely love this i was not expecting captain universe that just wasn't something that popped into my head with all the players that have been on the field with everything that's been introduced to us i really thought we were going to see maybe peter quill or something like that but instead what we get is captain universe the individual who bonds himself to a sentient being to be the protector of everything. And what a better time to have Captain Universe show up than when facing off with darkness itself. With the abyss itself. So issue number 5 is going to be phenomenal. Mark my words you guys. Go buy this comic. Make sure that you guys pre-order issue number 5 because it is going to go off the shelves like freaking crazy but yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you have not yet please do me a favor subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you're down for podcasts go ahead and check out comic breakdown and more podcasts available on itunes spotify or wherever you get your podcasts and be sure to check in with the channel later this evening like i said in the beginning because we're gonna have marauders we're gonna have cable and we're gonna have the rest of the king and black line up for you guys to check out and until the next video